They tried to get where? At 5 p.m.? Oh dear, that's not gonna work. LA's notoriously bad traffic is the number one challenge you'll face when traveling to this coastal metropolis. The key is to visit one neighborhood at a time and always, always avoid traveling during rush hour. Hi, my name is Jerrica and I am Travel Lemmings Los Angeles local pro. LA is a big place with many incredible attractions. If you don't know the city, it's easy to get overwhelmed, not to fear. Travel Lemming is here to help. In this video, I'll help you avoid the biggest LA travel mistakes and set you up with great tips to make your Los Angeles vacation a success. Stick around to the end for my number one LA travel tip. It is crucial to get this right, so you won't want to miss it. LA's most popular attractions can get very crowded, especially in summer. If that sounds overwhelming, consider mixing in a day or two of more relaxing activities, like a secluded Malibu beach or hiking in Griffith Park. You can also find quieter areas nearby the busy spots for brief escapes. Whether you're looking to get in the thick of it or planning to steer clear of the crowds, you're going to want to do a bit of research on some of the different neighborhoods in Los Angeles. I only have time for a couple here, but you can find my complete guide to the best neighborhoods in LA linked in the description or by scanning this QR code. If you're looking to explore Hollywood, that's inland away from the coast, for a beach day, you'll be heading to the west side. Venice and Santa Monica are the most popular spots, or try Redondo Beach for a less touristy vibe and fewer crowds. Traveling between Hollywood and the beach can take up to an hour, so that brings us back to that top challenge. Yep, traffic. Nowhere is the phrase Time is money more accurate than sitting in LA traffic. Ride share fees, cab fares, fuel costs, it adds up fast. So make sure you budget accordingly. Booking a more expensive hotel closer to your desired attractions may actually save you money in the long run. We've got a whole video on great ways to visit Los Angeles on a budget, so be sure to check that out. But first, let's talk about how to do more of this and less of that. This is the Los Angeles section of the 405 freeway, AKA the busiest freeway in the United States. Avoid it if possible. If you can't, plan on being there a while because this clip, dear viewers, was shot half an hour before afternoon rush hour. So if you must travel the Route 405 at rush hour, well, it's a good opportunity to catch up on your favorite podcast, like a long one. Morning rush hour in LA starts around 7 a.m doesn't end until after 10. The evening rush hour hits around 4 p.m. and continues to about 8. To avoid getting stuck, plan on arriving early. For example, if you have a 7 o'clock dinner reservation in Beverly Hills, get there by 5. You can spend the extra time strolling Rodeo Drive and Beverly Gardens Park. By the time you finish dinner, traffic will have cleared, making it that much easier to get back to your hotel. On your way to our next tip, swing by the like button. Our team at Travel Lemming works really hard to bring you the, all the best tips and tricks for your travels, and we sure do appreciate your support. LA's public transportation system isn't as notoriously terrible as the traffic, but it's not that far behind. The bus system is complicated and time consuming, and the metro rail isn't all that comprehensive, but it will get you to a few key places. The red line offers stops for Hollywood and Universal Studios, and the E line goes to downtown Santa Monica. What the metro is most useful for is visiting the busiest area of LA, downtown Los Angeles. Downtown LA offers many attractions. It's home to world famous street art, world class museums, and the legendary LA Lakers. It's also quite literally surrounded by busy freeways, making it just about the hardest place to get to from other parts of the city. To make the most of your time, make use of the metro and plan to spend a full day downtown. If your visit is centered around downtown attractions or a convention, you might be best off choosing a hotel in that area for most of your trip. That's right, I said most of your trip because one great LA travel hack is to book two shorter stays in different lodgings. I hear you. That sounds like a lot at first, but hear me out. By booking a couple of nights in, say, Hollywood, you can cover all those attractions and Universal Studios without ever needing a car. Then, make your second reservation on the west side to enjoy the beach. Many Shoreline's attractions are walkable, and you can get from Ocean View Hotels in Manhattan or Hermosa Beach to LAX in about 20 minutes. Whether you choose one spot or two, the most crucial step in planning your trip to Los Angeles is 
coming right up. <laughs> if you'd like more help traveling, help planning your California adventures, please scan the QR code on screen or bookmark Travel Lemmings Free Comprehensive Guides written by knowledgeable locals with first-hand experience. Or simply add the word lemming when searching any destination on Google. My number one LA travel tip is choose the right location for your stay. Have a look at what you want to do before you get here and book a hotel close to the attractions where you want to spend most of your time. If you want to make up, wake up by the waves, go for Santa Monica, Venice, or Hermosa Beach. Or to visit locations throughout the city, pick a more central neighborhood like Beverly Grove or West Hollywood. For our full guide on the best areas to stay in Los Angeles, just click the link in the description. And if you're wondering what LA attractions are really worth basing your trip around, check out this video next to find out. Have fun in LA and thank you for watching.